Election results. INEC reacts to alleged rigging for APC and resignation calls against Yakubu. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has reacted to calls by the Labour Party and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, asking the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, to resign. The commission described the call as misplaced. INEC claimed the allegation by the coalition agent of the PDP, Dino Milaye, that the INEC chairman allocated scores to parties is unfounded and irresponsible. The commission said, contrary to the insinuation by both parties, results emanating from the state point to a free, fair and credible process. There are laid down procedures for aggrieved parties or candidates to follow when they are dissatisfied about the outcome of an election. Such procedures do not include calling on the INEC chairman to resign or for the election to be cancelled. The commission said in a statement signed by Chief Press Secretary Rotimi Oyekonmi. To be sure, aggrieved parties are free to approach the courts to ventilate their concerns and wait for the matter to be resolved making inciting comments capable of causing violence or unrest is unacceptable. The 2023 general election process are in their final stages of completion. It is only fair for aggrieved parties to allow the conclusion of the process and approach the courts with their evidence to pursue their cases, it said. This one is, uh, INEC is thinking um, is, um, is all about um, LP, Labour Party and PDP. We know a couple of hours ago, um, the Labour Party uh, um, running mate and also that of um, the PDP, the, the running mate as well, Ifan Yokoa. So Dati and Ifan Yokoa, they had a press conference addressing the nation and also addressing the situation on ground that INEC, um, um, the, this election that INEC conducted fell short of expectation. It's not just um, these uh, uh, two parties. We know international bodies have been looking into this election and they've been making their various remarks. Nigerians, the citizens have been speaking. It's not about PDP and LP. It's not just about PDP and LP. That is one thing INEC should know. For recall that um, last year, before this election, INEC promised heaven and earth. You know, these um, beavers, he talked, they talked about that um, there's going to be electronic transmission of results from pooling units. And Nigerians were excited that this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. This is the only way a free, fair and credible election can take place in Nigeria. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, election day uh, came all the beavers stopped working that was when all the uh, logistic challenges came in that was how from one excuse to another they kept um, giving one excuse we 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 had reports of um INEC officials stating that they don't have the the code to access the the to upload the results what a shame and what a convenient uh, um, excuse they don't have code. Some other places, oh, there is no data. We don't have access. We don't have this. They just gave various excuses not to transmit the results at the polling unit because the only reason these parties are calling for cancellation and also calling that um, INEC um, national chairman Yakubu should resign is because these um, results were not transmitted because Truth be told, if all the results from the various local governments and from the very the various states were transmitted at the polling unit, everybody would know that this is black and white, it's plain and clear. Whatever you get, that was what you got. That was what the people voted for. But now they did not transmit results. Uh, they left it a couple of hours, a couple of days. You can imagine the election that took place since Saturday. Only God knows what they've been cooking, what they've been adding, what they've been removing, what they've been remixing all sorts and they come up with results and nigerians are not are not accepting it at all i don't know if we've been following um even a petition has been going around um to be signed that this election is a no-no INEC rigged the election and calling out um yakubu so yakubu is responding to um LP and uh, uh, PDP that they are just um, raising alarm. They should stop inciting violence. They should stop. It's not about this party. They should wake up. Uh, uh, enough is enough. They've deceived the people for too long. They can't continue deceiving the people. The people are already aware of the tricks they've been playing. This same trick, Yakubo has played it before. 
2015 2019 election and he wants to play it again if he worked in 2015 worked in 2019 it will not work he's going to be resisted what INEC is telling LPR Labour Party is that um, there is a, a standard procedure that um, um, no one is saying that you should not uh, uh, um, reject the results but even if you are standing against it if you are aggrieved that they say a proper way that they should go to court um, go to court and it, it, a, a, a process will be followed. Who are they telling those stories? Stories. Why not do the right thing from the beginning? If INEC had done the right thing from the start by transmitting all election results from pooling units and ensuring that election materials got to all of the pooling units, all the local governments, a lot of local governments did not vote. Many people went to their polling unit, no INEC officials. The ones that INEC officials turned up said they did not receive materials. Materials were not sent to them. What is INEC talking about that are grieved? Uh, if you are grieved, go to, uh, um, go to court. Go and do it the right way. They should be ashamed of themselves. INEC, the chairman of the commission, Mahmoud, he should be ashamed. Right now, he should be tendering apologies and explaining what happened, why those uh, results were not transmitted electronically. Why did they have to go somewhere to go cool off, to go get remixed? And that is the result they are presenting. Who is going to accept that? Nigerians won't accept that. So they should not think that uh, it's a case of um, parties because they are telling the parties. So Nigerians that are not happy right now, is INEC telling Nigerians that everybody should go to court, the whole country? Because majority of Nigerians are rejecting this result. If we follow trend, if we follow what is going on, Nigerians are not accepting this, that this is unacceptable. This is not what we bargain for. Everyone has been looking forward to a new Nigeria. And I believe that most people, you know, with the hardship that the All Progressive Congress has brought uh, upon the country for the last eight years, and most recently, this Naira scarcity and the first scarcity, Nigerians are tired. We want a, a change. And we are tired of recycled politicians, politicians that keep telling us story and keep promising and promising and nothing is changing. Um, if if um, APC... If APC believe that they are so popular as a ruling party, what are they scared of? Why didn't they transmit results? If they are very popular, there's nothing to hide. As soon as people vote, then um, they should transmit the results. So many form of malpractice. We saw when even INEC officials were thumbprinting themselves. We saw cases in the north where children were being used to thumbprint. All sorts. We saw cases where elderly women that did not know much about what to do, they were just guiding them to turn prints for uh, specific parties. That should not be done. Well, guys, um, INEC is reacting. All they are saying right now is that um, um, these political parties should follow the right way, go to court and stop inciting violence. They haven't seen anything they haven't well guys leave us your take thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye